Hello, it's Denver. Welcome to French's video. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do a punch art to make a wrench. This here, super, super simple. And what you, <clears throat> excuse me, what you're going to need, it's the brush uh, silver, the cardstock, the brush silver, one and three eight punch, three quarter punch, <coughs> excuse me, and the itty bitty uh, punch pack, and we're using that little flower in it. It looks like the inside of a wrench, you know, the little dots or the little thing. And then we're going to need the, I forgot to bring it down, the window uh, punch. So let's get started. For this part here, the long part, that is the, I'm trying to reach my glue dots, that is three and three quarter and uh, three and a quarter long and the width it's only three eighths uh, long uh, the width it's three eighths so it's just a little bit less than half inch so three eight by three and a quarter you're gonna take your um, window punch on a scrap paper just do one of the whatever a slant in could have went longer so I'm gonna go here you want to do it long enough take your one and three eight circle punch bring this in that's about right voila now you get this part then you're going to take your another piece of scrap, I think I got enough on this one. You're going to take your bitty punch first, a little flower, punch this in. Then take your three quarter circle, put that in the center. Now you get the other part. Now what I'm going to do, it's sponge, I'm going to use the uh, the gray ink and I don't see it my basic gray it has to be right in front of me and I cannot see it for some reason well we're gonna use basic black usually I use the the basic gray I'm gonna use the black for now and then you're gonna sponge around this it's just to give it a little bit more a uh, 3D look. Really black or going uh, basic gray, it's about the same. It's just a little bit darker. This here, I just push it down, go inside a bit. Then I'm going to reverse this here. Okay, this part is done. Now I'm going to do the same with this. How simple it is to make masculine card. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my handle. Whoops. Let me tell you, if it would be a piece of metal, it wouldn't bend like that. Okay, now we're going to glue it. And the best thing to glue it especially on the brush uh, silver I like to use glue dot so I'm going to put the glue dot on top what I mean on top it's where I sponge take this put it there now I just want it tiny I'm doing about halfway because it's so tiny see I just put a little piece there I'm going to bend it just a little bit like in two Put that there. Don't want to see. Voila! You get your wrench. Your wrench. It's done. So what I did, I used the tool shed for the background, and this is on River Rock, and I stamp with chocolate chip. After that, I decide where I want it. That's when I put a little brad there in the center. That is it on how you do your wrench. Hope you learned something. Whoops. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.